And, and you bring up a good point here because this is, especially in the analytics space, this is the not so secret, dirty little secret mm-hmm. of uh, digital analytics and marketing agencies. They get kickbacks. Mm-hmm. The, 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 if you see an agency that's like, oh, we're a certified this implementer, or we're certified with that one, that means they're a reseller. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they give you this appearance that, oh, they've gone through the training, they know how to implement, you know, this or that. And they, they're, they're, they're premium partners on, they know all of the, the details. No, it just means they're a reseller. Sadie hates it. Sadie agrees with me and and agrees. And I, and I hate it as well. Um, And I will keep talking about this and I don't care how many agency people I make upset because every time I talk about like, Oh, Jason, you don't get it. It's like, no, 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 we're real partnerships and it's really meaningful and it's helpful for our clients. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. So this is going back many, many years ago. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the company I was working for at the time, I was working on the agency arm of it. And, and then we signed a, a partnership. They were going to be like our, our partner of choice for this particular technology. And you come to realize it was all it was, was just their sales team was looking at it like, oh, this gives us premium access. It gives us priority access to your client list to start making calls. Immediately. Immediately. And that's all they saw it as. That's what that vendor saw it as is, well, this is a way for us to get into your client base and us to start making calls to you, not, no, we're going to make sure that you're familiar with our technology and we can help roll it out and all of that happiness. (laughs) The partnership model in in the MarTech world is is fundamentally broken. Um, And I've talked to so many partner... um, leaders at, at, at vendors. And I've had this conversation with them. I'm like, guys, this is so short-sighted. Um, but they're so dependent on agencies being an extension of their sales team. They just don't know how to do anything different. And when they come talk to me and say, Hey, we want to be partners. I'm like, great. Does that mean you want us to be a resale? Well, that's part of it. Nope. Don't talk to me. I don't want anything to do with it. Right. And mm-hmm. they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, that's not a partnership. That's a, that's a sales program. Just call it what it is. You're a reseller. You're not a partner. There's nothing strategic about this. You're simply positioning the agencies, giving them collateral support, whatever you need for them to pitch your solution. And it's bad for the industry. It's bad for clients. It's bad for everybody, but the vendor, the vendors are the one that ultimately wins in that game. It's bad for agencies. And we can have a whole conversation on why it's bad for for agencies because I've been there. I've been in an agency that was a strong partner that got screwed by the by the vendor and ultimately led them down a very very bad path. Um, but it's just it's just bad. But they don't know how to do anything else. And I I tell this story. I'm like, well, haven't you thought about truly investing in your partners to be experts at at what your product does to to truly help clients get the like. There's got to be mountains of returns on that long term. Like, yeah, 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 but it doesn't help us sell deals this quarter. Like, 